Yes, lads, we are back with another Team of the Season review. This time, we have got Kakure, the French beast himself. Make sure to drop a sub, leave a like, and Robbie, let's get into the review. Yes, Jack. If anyone is a long-term fan of the channel, they'll know that in one of our Rate Your Teams videos, um, yes. we recommended this man to just about everyone and his dog, didn't we, Jack? Yeah, he was his future star was a great card. Yeah. Really well-priced, really can I, plays above his stats. And Rob... This card, the team of the season one, I think people need to temper their expectations if they're thinking they're oh, going right. to get an absolute beast on the, okay. you know. Yeah. Because he is good, but he has got his, his shortcomings, definitely. Yeah. Where'd you use him? Um, CDM? Used him as a sole CDM as well as centimid. So I tried him yeah. CDM in 4231, uh, CDM in 2 and centimid in 2 as well. Okay. So use him in kind of the, the two positions that he's going to get used. Um, yeah. Listen, you know his shortcomings already. They're blatantly there for you to see on the card. Going forward, I'm guessing. Going forward, he's really disappointing, Rob. He did yeah. score a banger for me. You would have seen it already, guys. But the outside foot shot trait definitely helped with that. But he's he's disappointing going forward, Rob. And I think at this point in the game, yeah, you need somebody that can do a bit more. You can they can do a bit on the edge of the box. For me personally, yeah. Um, and for me, three star skills and semi six shooting. He's not. He's, he doesn't cut the cheese. Don't cut the mustard. A counterpoint. I think as a CDM, you don't really need the shooting. Like from in a four-one-two-one-two, particularly anyway. You know they, they do just sit there really for me. This is the thing in a four-one-two-one-two. Um, yeah, you can kind of get away with it, but he didn't feel dominant for me. He didn't yeah. like with him being five-nine, having great dribbling stats. By the way, Rob, on the ball, this guy is an absolute delight. Say, he is really ridiculous really got nice on the ball yeah. um but with that and the fact that he's lean as well um mm -hmm. he really doesn't he doesn't feel strong at all he, he gets bounced off the ball quite a bit yeah from going i've been using a bit of a rogue one um i've been using moments rykard rob yeah and going from moments rykard to this guy felt like a downgrade really that's surprising. Yes. Yeah, that's really I can't believe I'm saying that right now. Rykard has got about 50 balance or something silly. 56, 56 balance. balance. Yeah. Yeah. For me, this year, the dominant CDMs are the, the big tall big guys. Boys. Yeah. Big He's legs. Can't say it all this year? Uh, I haven't. I've, I've not really liked him as much this year. I don't yeah. think you see him loads in pro teams either. You always see like Vieira's, Bellingham's, Hullets. Yeah. I just don't think this year that this type of player suits the game as well. Yeah. Not to say, Rob, that he doesn't have good things about him. Mm -hmm. These being, the dribbling is really nice, but it feels kind of pointless in a way, having the nice dribbling could, when you are further at the pitch without having something to do with it. Yeah, do you think, you know, the dribbling stats, it affects his, his movement off the ball as well, like his crab walk, you know, his interceptions. I know what you like mean, it's, it's just short. Yeah. Um, sorry to the 5 foot 9 kings out there, yeah. um, but... In terms of CDM, his legs don't feel long at all. I've measured all three of them, and they just they didn't yeah. do the job for me. The pace was was really good. Uh, it's surprising, really. I know he's got a bit of a his pace split's all it's right. It's one, ninety-one yeah. acceleration, eighty-four sprint speed. I yeah. used a shadow on him. Um, I, he never felt slow. I must admit. Yeah. But he just felt a little bit weak going into the tackle. Yeah, and I think it's, having it's a body used, type, isn't it? Really, I think it's le yeah. It's the fact that he's lean. Eighty three strength isn't like it's not it's enough not to counteract it. it. Yeah. Um, and I think having I've been using the CDM partnership. I've been using is Graven Birch, Future Star, and Rykot. So it's two big lads mm -hmm. going to this guy. It did feel quite weak, to be honest. But I don't know. It's kind of you get what you expect in a way. Yeah. Um, How was his so like, I don't know know defensive? Positioning, you know, he's got like 94 interceptions and like yeah, 95. Um, he felt defense, very tenacious. Like yeah. Um, the aggression felt higher than 88. He did play for the badge quite well. Yeah. He's just, I think, if was this guy in the right would, place or, um, when he wasn't, it was easy to get into the right place. You know, okay. he does feel very yeah. maneuverable. Yeah. He is very quick on his feet, but with that, once again, that's what brings his downfall. You know, the, his own. The, the pro is a con yeah. or it brings the con you know, there's, I'm sure there's a phrase there somewhere yeah. um, one thing Rob that I want to quickly mention though his passing is bloody brilliant yeah 98 short passing 93 long passing is 
A 95 vision. vision. Yeah, not to be Bro, this this man sprayed balls. Honestly, get this guy down into the red light district. He would do some serious numbers. He was great um, in that kind of role of yeah of passing the ball out and you know distributing it and especially in the four two three one when you've got the, a big over the toppy ball to the you know the, the opposite side winger yeah, or yeah. equally down the byline to the, that winger. He does have a lot of good things about him, but I think for me personally, Rob, my personal my personal preference, not to say you guys won't get on with him, Yeah, I think that he's just a little bit too small and a little bit too weak to be that type of, that top tier um, yeah. CDM. That's disappointing really, because he's, he's got such good stats like, and when you look at it. Yeah, on um, paper he does look great. Yeah, high, high as well. How was his <coughs> work rate? I'm guessing he was... Everywhere. It's su- to be honest, I've not actually looked at them, and it surprised me that he's high high. He feels like a medium high, which isn't oh, a bad okay. thing. No, it's um, not for CDM. But yeah, I think, like I say, if he had four, even four star, just so he had something, you know, yeah. a little bit of skill up his sleeve to do yeah. when he does get into those good places, or um, you know, he had good shooting. I think that could have, you know, bumped up his rating. Yeah. That being said, Rob, we will get into the end card. Go on. I still gave him an eight. An eight? That's quite low, actually. Yeah, um, he's good. Uh, yeah. Like I've said, the things that he's good at, he's he's really quite decent at. I just think as a CDM, um, he's lacking a few things that really do set him apart from the big boys. Yeah, he will be perfectly fine. You know, I played champs with him. I played rivals in Division One with him um, mm-hmm. next to Graven Birch, and they were, you know, they were they were all right. I just felt yeah. like when I went back to Rykard, I felt a much stronger presence. I think it's the legs. It's the long legs. Um, yeah, they're really good. Makes a big CDM, difference. Yeah. Rykard, Vieira, two of the best CDMs I've used, in Graven Birch for that matter. Yeah. Some of the best CDMs I've used all year. Value for coins, That's Rob. Interesting. Yeah, go on. Uh, I've I'm given him a. a s- I was going to guess a 10. No, nah, I've given him a 7. Really? I thought it's a really good price. I don't know. It's, it's a good price, I think, but it's about what I'd expect to pay. Yeah. I think. Looking at the other cards around, you know, like you've got John McGinn who's cheaper, um, Sangare who I think personally will play better than him. Yeah. Pardon me. You've got players like Koku, um, Parejo who's free. There's there's quite a few players that are quite cheap to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, that I think personally are going to do a similar or if not question, better then. job. Fred yeah. is smaller. Fred the Red, yeah. Would you write him off? Because I loved Fred earlier in the year. I really want to try him. I wouldn't, simply because Fred's got a bit going for him. He's got five star skills, yeah. which is huge. Um, yeah. And also, I just think I think skills makes a huge difference this year. And yeah. then, equally, Fred's, I mean, comparing them, I don't know. I suppose in, in terms of stats, they're not a huge difference. 99 not aggression really. on Fred is huge. Yeah, it is. Um, and he's got much he's more going forward. Yeah. Yeah. He's for a me. Solid player, though. Maybe that makes sense. He is. Yeah. Uh, I, I do think Fred will be really good. Yeah. Um, Let's go see a review, boys. I'll get him in. Yeah. Rob's getting him in anyway. Um, but yeah, he's he's all right. Cockeray. Cock, cock, bloody hell. Yeah. He didn't, I tell you what, he didn't slip me any of the Cockeray. Otherwise, he would get a better height rating. <laughs> best chem style? Uh, I'd say Shadow. He needs the pace, in my opinion. It's the best one. Yeah, I'd say so. Anchor? I don't really think you'd notice yeah, the a difference to his maybe. strength. Yeah. I think it's the body style, the body style, the body type, rather yeah. than the actual strength that itself that makes a difference. And then best links, Rob. I've gone for the Dubois foot captain, nice yeah. perfect yeah. link. Um, Awa, another perfect link. Yeah, he's not short of links, is he? He's definitely not. No, uh, man's had about twelve Christmas box sets from his nan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I've gone for the ninety-four Mbappe, the um, just the, the tradable the, one. The, you can get the inform one. one. Yeah, lads, he's French. He's from Ligue 1. They're coming out. He's got links coming out yeah. of his arse. I mean, honestly, Leon, um, enough midfielders anyway. Like bloody hell. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could probably make a, an entire Leon special team at this yeah. point. They've got bloody loads, um, all non-performance related as well. Yeah. Um, but what can you do, Rob? That's the review. He's he's a good player, but I just think a bit disappointing. Calm, calm down a little bit. Yeah, he's yeah. he's good, but he's missing the big things that for me make the CDMs the yeah. best CDMs on FIFA 22. Yeah, there's going to be so many more. CDM's coming out as well, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah a little bit disappointing. But, yeah, boys, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. We'll probably be doing daily, if not like every other yeah. day, player reviews of the team of the season. We'll be doing videos every day regardless. So, make sure you ding that notification bell. Follow Bing. us on Twitch, Twitter, all that, boys. 
In the meantime, I've been Robbie. I've been Jack. We'll be back, Page Gaming. See you later. Bye.